the logic for this sum is we need to go column wise and solve. We need to add this number with the second number. So 9 plus 7 which is equal to 16. And then I should divide that number with this number. So 16 divided by this number is 2 which is equal to 8. So I am getting the last row's value. Now I should do for this column. I should add the first two numbers. 15 plus 30 is equal to 45. And then I should divide by this number. But over here there is question mark. So I am going to take the question mark as x. So 45 divided by x is equal to I'll get the answer as the last rows number. So it is 5. So I should write 5. So 45 by x is equal to 5. Therefore, 45 is equal to 5x. x is equal to 45 divided by 5 which is equal to 9. So therefore x is equal to 9 is the answer. So in the place of question mark I should write 9. Now let us check whether this logic is working even for the last column. I should add the first two numbers. So 13 plus 14 which is equal to 27. And I should divide by this number. So divided by 3 which is equal to 9. I have got the last row's answer. So therefore, I have got the last row's value as the answer. Therefore, this logic holds good for this sum. So the final answer is 9 because in the place of question mark I have put 9. We found it over here itself. The logic for this sum is we need to square the numbers on the top. So first here I am having 2. So I should square that. 2 square is equal to 4. The next number I am having is 4. So 4 square is equal to 16. After squaring the 2 numbers on top, I should add those values. So 4 plus 16. I will get the answer as 20. So this value is matching with this. So this logic is holding good for this first figure. Now let us solve using the same logic for the second figure. I should square the numbers on top. Over here I am having 3. So 3 square is equal to 9. Next I am having 9. So 9 square is equal to 81. Now I need to add these two values so I will be getting 90. So this value is matching with this. So therefore this logic is perfectly correct for this sum. Now let us solve and find the answer. For the third figure the two numbers on top is 1 and 7 so I should square them and write. So 1 square is equal to 1. And then 7 square is equal to 49, which is equal to 50. I should add these two, so I will get 50. So therefore, in the place of question mark, I should write 50. The answer is 50. Answer is equal to 50. So this is logic for this sum. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get the new video updates. And please don't forget to share it with your friends. It may be very helpful for them. Thank you.